Hello and welcome, Paula here, and I'm playing Banished. So where are we? Well, I've got my schoolhouse up, and I'm starting to get well-educated people starting their new jobs, and uh, hopefully we're going to see some results. But anyway, let's have a look. So, right now I'm out of medicine, okay. So where's my herbalist? Okay, my herbalist is here, they are... I don't know why I've got the herbal, the herbal, the herbs amount to uh, 100. I might as well just up that. Uh, do I have any spare people to assign here? That would be quite nice. I got one person. Probably shouldn't. I'll wait until I got one extra, and then we'll go ahead and do that. So we're at the 4,000 mark. We've gone down a little bit. That's not good. and whatnot over here, but that's always good. Um, I could extend the houses, but no point in the moment. We've got stone being brought in a little bit, not much. We could do with having more hunters. <coughs> that might be something I'll look into. Because right now, if I wrap a lot of firewood as well, okay. So, probably getting my foresters back up to scratch is going to be quite important as well. We already have a lot of them, but we shall see. It's hard to find that balance, you know what I mean? You need more people to man everywhere, but the more people you have, the more demand for certain resources, so, you know, it's a nasty circle. But anyway, it probably wouldn't hurt if I plan out where I want my next Forester's Lodge, and the chances are it might be over here, just because it's a good spot. Really anywhere else. I mean, it's all the way all the way down here, but that's that's a long way away. We've got one here. We've got one there. I could actually put one up here, to be honest. Yeah, I could probably fit one in here, <coughs> but that is just as far away. I could also Let's see. Can I build a road there, or would that be a? No, I'd have to build a tunnel there, but I could, you know, set one up here, and that's probably just as far, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so... I guess I'm sort of waiting. A trader inbound. Maybe they can get some livestock. Maybe I should put in an order for that, depending on who this is. Squash seeds, player. This person only sells seeds, I want livestock. I don't know what that comes under though. Although, this would be a fantastic time to consult the in-game guide. Taverns actually do. So all it does is make people happy. Everyone seems to be fairly happy in my town as it is, so I don't think it's needed. Unless if having one would increase, you know, productivity, but I don't think it does. Okay. Okay, so I just need to buy some animals the first time round. Okay. What I could do here is get some sheep 
and then we'll get the wool from the sheep and that can go into making wool, clo uh, wool clo uh, coats, so that's always good. But my question is, how do I actually say I want I want to purchase animals, like what does he come under? I have no clue. I guess I just have to wait for the right person to come along. Okay, we've got a few more people here. I'm going to knock up the amount of herbalists I have, just to make sure we keep everyone healthy. That is quite important. Uh, probably put more points into... Forester, maybe? Keep the amount of wood up. so good about the orchards, 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 I can barely speak, I apologise. Just don't see what the point of having one is. <coughs> so we have a lot of students, that's good. our food up. I guess I'll just keep an eye out for someone to bring in some livestock. But yeah, I mean, things are going well. A lot of people are dying. And the cemetery is almost full. I kind of want to build another well, just in case anything goes wrong. Now we'll see, what else can I build? <coughs> I've got cemeteries, I've got chapels. I feel like I should really get a hospital up at some point. Probably wouldn't hurt to have one. Question is, where do I want it? Well, if I built a town hall, then I could get in nomads, I believe. Yeah, why don't we go ahead and build one? Oh, that's a lot of stone. Seems kind of pointless at the moment. <coughs> I'll keep expanding for now. But let's just go ahead and build another well. Uh, maybe have one over here. Just squeeze it in there. Yeah, I'm basically at the point now where I just need to keep surviving. See where it takes me. I can increase the amount of stone cutters I have. Get more people working at this quarry. <laughs> We're getting wheat from here as well, that's useful. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to survive now. Hoping a trader comes in with some livestock, I'd really like to give that a go. We have almost 50 adults, 13 students, and another 13 children. That is cool. A 
like I said, eventually I'm hoping that uh, my town ends up being like every, eventually everyone becomes fully educated in the town. So it's probably gonna take a few more years, but it will mean everywhere will have someone educated working at it. <coughs> so that is good. Reserve of firewood is low. That's never good. Might need to make another woodcutter just to keep up with demand. All these people, because we just ran out, and that's not good. In fact, I'll go ahead and build that now because I've read where people have been trying to, you know, build, trying to keep, you know, one of their problems they were running into was they kept running out of wood, so. Just squeeze one in here. <coughs> so that'll give us three woodcutters producing firewood, so everyone should always be warm. So even if they don't have the, the coats to walk around in, they can go home and stay warm, so, so yeah. So this person's cold, they haven't got a coat, but they're going home and then they're gonna be warm, so we're okay, provided we've got firewood. But now more people are getting cold, so we're gonna have to be very careful. We're late winter. I hope I can squeeze by this, no problems. And I can automatically assign someone here once it's ready. I think we're gonna have to get another forester's lodge up though. See if we can get some more wood in. Places, <coughs> excuse me, throat's going all over the place today. These places uh, are not producing as much wood as out of light, especially this one. But I figure it's just a case of uh, filling it up, you know. What is the herbalist doing? Maybe I need another herbalist set up somewhere. There we go, we got another woodcutter. Bean seeds, I don't want these. Okay, so I guess I just wait. Let's go ahead and dismiss him. Alright, should we, sh we should be able to stay, you know ahead on the firewood department. It's still spring, so I've got plenty of time to stockpile for winter. We ran out of food again. So this is worrying me. Do I need to... Do I need another field? Is that what's the problem? Or is it because this one's lacking? There we go, let's see if that helps. I didn't really want to set up a forester here, but then again, it's going to be a while till I actually expand out this way, so I could probably go ahead and get one set up. So, I mean, if I had one here, that's going to be in the smack bank center. I could probably fit two in. Yeah, I could fit two foresters in here work quite nicely. What 
what I'll probably do is get hunters, hunting cabins and all sorts over here. Okay, so we got someone educated working, that's always good. It probably wouldn't hurt if I actually upgraded the tools as well, use better tools. I mine for coal instead for a bit. What will happen then? I'm gonna keep an eye on how much food I end up having here because this doesn't look good. We once had over 5,000 food, now we're down to less than a thousand. I need to start keeping an eye on it and having people start harvesting a lot earlier in the season. I think that's the issue. But it's like I've got hunting cabins and they're not doing anything really. Determined to make this work though. Definitely determined to make it work. Firewood is low. I'm gonna lose one of the builders. I don't think I need two to be honest. Go ahead and get these built. I'm going to need to clear all the stone in this area, so... Paddling quit because there's water in the boat. Okay, she's got some various foods and berries. She has a bunch of food, can she get livestock? Doesn't look like it. That's disappointing. Can I trade for the berries? So I could get 500 food by doing this trade. Well, that's going to get us 500 food, it's not much, but it helps us out a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
good thing is, I, re I mean, I really haven't had to mess around with collecting wood because my foresters have been doing a good job to keep it topped up even though I'm constantly taking it for firewood, so that's always good. That's always good. Oh, uh, we're out of tools now. It's alright, the blacksmith, he can uh, stock it back up. Did we get the berries? I honestly don't know. Yes, we did. And they're gone already. Wow. Yeah, we've got a problem there. People are hungry, so... I want to tell one of these to start harvesting. This one's the highest. Start harvesting, get the food in. Because we're going to die otherwise. It's so easy to fall behind on stuff. Maybe I do need another field, maybe it's because I've expanded, you know, and it's just not sufficient enough since everything else, like fishing, uh, post, and everything else isn't pulling in what they need to. See, people are already dying of starvation so quickly, my gosh. Alright, this is going to call for drastic measures, we're going to have to harvest every field to make sure we don't wipe out everyone. And I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get another f food field. No, they're dropping like flies. Yeah, we just wiped out like a whole bunch of people. That wasn't good. I was behind her already as it was, you know. That was my problem, I think. I expanded too much. And because I didn't increase the amount of food, because I thought I was safe, it basically just came back to bite me in the ass, so I've got to be very careful with that. I really need some livestock, or, I mean, the hunter, the hunter used to pull in like a thousand, maybe I need, oh, I've got no one working here at all. Damn, that's not good. That's not good, okay. So I don't exactly need too much stone, so let's go ahead and put two people working in here. I'm hoping it will all improve eventually, just, you know. Like, eventually we just have enough people working. Like I said, that they're all educated, that's what I'm relying on. And once we get to that point, it's not going to be an issue, so... But it's just waiting at these coming years to get to that point. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. We didn't kill too many people, so that's good. Make sure you join me again, see if we can uh, get the same result. Until then.